Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on my channel. Um, today's practice is about unification of breath and movement. We're going to look to mobilize the glutes, the hamstrings and the psoas, um, really to strengthen that lumbar spine and the lower back. Um, a lot of the time when we're sitting all day, um, the glutes and the hamstrings are inactive, which then leads to lower back pain uh, because we just really don't have the strength in our, in our muscles there to support our, our back. Hopefully by the end of the practice, you'll feel a little more vitalized, strong and empowered to take on life's challenges. Uh, I just want to point out that uh, this practice can be quite challenging. There are quite um, a, quite long holds with a few of the postures. So if you find that it's a little too challenging, always come down into child's pose. Uh, but remember that whilst you're in the posture, use your breath to create the, the posture that, you, that you're envisioning. Um, a lot of the time, our breath will provide us with the energy to remain in that posture. Um, and of course, if it's challenging, it's usually where we need to be. With that, I'll meet you on the mat. Let's begin this practice by finding Balasana, child's pose. So finding your way to the mat, bring the buttocks to the heels, arms along the side of the body, forehead to the mat. Let's begin by connecting with our breath. Inhale. Breathe into the pelvic floor. Exhale, slight pelvic contraction, navel to the spine. Breathing into the posture, gaze is internal. Two more breaths here. Inhale into the base of the spine. Exhale, release the breath, navel to spine. Take the last ones on your own. Working our way now into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Rise to the knees, wave the body forward, belly to the floor. Place the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, draw the blades down the back. Now linking breath to movement. Inhale, lengthen the lower back. Engage the buttocks, lift the chest. Exhale, gently release the pose. Follow the tide of the breath. Two more breaths, like a wave in the ocean. Inhale, lift the chest, breathe into the pelvic floor. Exhale, lower the chest to mat, slight pelvic contraction. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, chest to mat. Preparing now for Adha Bhakasana. Draw the elbows under the shoulders. Cross the left forearm parallel to the top of the mat. Bend the right knee, reach the right hand back and draw the foot towards the hip. Inhale, align the body, upper body forward. Chest is open and on the exhale, soften the right thigh. Slight pelvic contraction, draw the navel to the spine. Discovering three breaths in this position. Upper body is aligned. Inhale, draw the breath to the pelvic floor. Exhale, ease into the stretch. Feel the strengthening in the hamstrings. This pose is good for reducing um, a little bit of lower back pain. One more time, inhale, chest is open. Exhale, slight pelvic contraction, draw the navel to the spine. Taking Ardha Bhakasana to the left side now. Cross the right forearm parallel to the front of the mat. Bend the left knee. Reach the left hand back. Draw the left foot towards the left hip. Inhale, align the upper body forward. Chest is open. Exhale, soften the left thigh. Slight pelvic contraction. Draw the navel to the spine. Inhale, draw the breath to the pelvic floor. Exhale, ease into the stretch. Inhale, follow the breath along the spine up into the collarbone. Exhale, navel to spine. Slight pelvic contraction. Coming back to Balasana, guide the buttocks to the heels. Gently contract the pelvic floor, navel to spine. 
Still a little counter pose here for the mini back bend we just did. Inhale, breathe into the pelvic floor. Exhale, peacefully release. Tucking the toes, use the hands for balance. Slowly draw the body to standing. Take your time in the forward fold. Lower the head. Shoulders are away from the ears. Guide the body up slowly and gently. Head and neck arriving last. Into Dasana, mountain pose. This is whole body engagement. So scanning through the body, we ground our toes into the floor. We engage the muscles in our calves and our thighs and our buttocks. Contraction of our abdominals. Shoulder blades contract. Tightening of the biceps and the forearms. Fingers are spread wide. And lastly, there's strength in the upper spine and through the neck, reaching tall. Breathe into the stability of your body. Take two steps forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, drop the hands to the sides, raise the hands above the head, Urdhva Hastasana. Thumbs draw back, tails tucked in, knit the upper ribs. Find length through the spine. And on the exhale, we'll hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, sweep the arms down and back, reach the hands beyond the upper buttocks. Inhale, remaining in the seat, sweep the arms forward, reach the arms beyond the knees. Exhale, engage the glutes, draw the thighs in, ease into the seat. Inhale, raise slightly from the hips, draw the biceps by the ears, Utkatasana, chair pose. Draw shoulders down the back, knit the ribs in, elongate through the spine. Exhale, observe the strength in the lower body the extension in the spine. Inhale, rise up from the seat. Release the arms above the head, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, draw hands to heart center, Samastiti. Let's do that one more time. We'll return our attention to the link between the breath, the body and the movement between the two. Inhale, drop the hands to the side, raise above the head, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinging at the hips. Sweep the arms down and back. Inhale, remaining in the seat. Sweep the arms forward. Exhale, engage the glutes. Draw the thighs in. Inhale, raise slightly from the hips. Draw the bicep by the ears. Exhale, feel the extension through the spine. Observe the strength in the lower body. Inhale, rise up from the seat, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Inhale, drop the hands to the side, raise above the head, Urdhva Hastasana. Full Agni Raj breath here, breathing into the pelvic floor, follow the breath along the spine, into the chest. Exhale, gently fold forward. Micro bend in the knees if that's what you need. Relax the head and neck, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, straighten legs, flat back, Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale, with control, step the right leg back, stepping into lunge position. We'll build a foundation here. Sole of the rear foot is perpendicular to the floor and engage the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, frame the head, rotate the hips, rise into crescent. Engage the back leg, thumbs point back, find length through the spine. Exhale, turn back foot parallel to short edge of the mat, rotate the torso, extend the right arm to the past, reach the left arm to the future, draw the low ribs in, Spread the fingers wide, gaze out over the middle of the front hand. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Feel the strength in this pose. Inhale, extending the front knee, draw the arms overhead, return the head to centre. Exhale, lower the arms in line with the shoulders, gaze comes back to the front hand. 
Inhale, hinge at the front hip crease, reach forward, really far forward, keep reaching, lengthen both sides of the body and exhale, lower the front arm to the front leg, reach the back arm up, stack the shoulders, legs are straight and strong. Lengthen through the side body, feel the sensations of the breath, give rise to the energy being created. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head and exhale, feel the opening through the right hip. Breathing into the base of the spine, inhale, follow the breath along the side body. Exhale, navel to spine, slight pelvic contraction. Accepting this challenge with kindness finding strength in your breath on the inhale and exhaling gently accepting the challenge inhale rise to release the hip exhale rotate the torso forward rise up onto the back toes sweep the arms overhead crescent pose inhale find strength in the back thigh extend through the spine Exhale, frame the front foot, step back or jump back, if that's in your practice, into plank. Inhale, whole body activation. Pushing through the heels, pulling through the crown of the head, engage the core and the thighs. Exhale, hug the body in, draw the elbows close to body, lower into chaturanga. Inhale, push through the hands up into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Activate the thighs, reach through the chest, Gaze is up, jawline is back. Exhale, gentle contraction of the pelvic floor. Inhale, push through the hands, fingers spread wide, raise the tail, Adho Mukha Svanasana, a downward facing dog. Exhale, breathe into the pelvic floor, navel to spine. Inhale, raise the right leg, push through the heel into our nice three-legged down dog. Exhale, Bring the knee to chest and with control, lightly step the right foot between the hands into lunge pose. Lowering the left knee to the mat, untuck the back toes, draw the tail towards the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, frame the face, raise the hands overhead, Rudrasana. It's a slight bend in the back here, knit the lower ribs in and on the exhale, pelvic contraction, navel to spine. Finding a couple more breaths here. Just really breathe into this posture. This one's really great for tapping into our psoas, which is the muscle in the front of the thigh and around the groin area. Uh, this one can become quite tight whilst we're sitting down all day. So inhaling, finding length through the spine, draw the blades down the back. Exhale, draw the thighs together. Inhale, follow the breath along the seat, through the spine to the collarbone. Exhale, feeling the sensation through that psoas and the extension through the spine. Inhale, lower the hands to frame the foot, tuck the back toes. Exhale, using the core, push off the back foot and step forward. Into Urdhva Uttanasana, flat back, Lengthen through the spine and exhale, gently fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise, guide the hands overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, gently, with intention, bring the hands to heart center, Samastiti. Finding your rhythm here, catching your breath, if you may have lost sight of it for a moment there. This is a really good time to reflect um, and remind ourselves that where the breath goes, energy flows. So when we're in the midst of a posture or moving through each posture, aligning our breath with the movement, remember that with our breath, we can create the energy for the posture to come after. So going through that sequence again, 
but following through on the other side this time. Let's inhale, rising the arms from the seat, overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, gently fold forward, micro bend in the knees, relax the head and neck, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, Urdhva Uttanasana. Exhale, with control, step the left back this time, back into lunge. Sole of the foot's perpendicular with the floor, engaging the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, frame the head, rotate at the hips, rise into crescent. Exhale, turning the back foot, rotating the torso, Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2 pose. Extend that right arm to the left arm to the past, reaching the right arm forward to the future this time. Draw the low ribs in. Gazes out over the front of the hand. Inhale, extend the front leg, draw the arms overhead, return the head to center. Exhale, lower the arms in line with the shoulders. Gaze comes back to the front hand. Inhale, hinging at that front hip crease, reaching forward, extending forward. Reach, 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 reach as far as you can. Exhale, lower the front arm to the front leg. If you need a block, um, you can use that here. Reach the back arm up to the sky, stack the shoulders. Legs are straight and strong. Don't forget that if you need, if your hamstrings are really tight here, you can have a little micro bend in the knees. Lengthening through the side body here, feel the sensation of the breath. Feel the energy being created. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, feel the opening through the left hip this time. Breathing into the base of the spine, follow the breath along the body. Exhale, navel to spine, slight pelvic contraction. Remembering that our breath creates the energy. If you can imagine the pose, you can create it. Inhale, rising to release the hip. Exhale, rotate the torso forward, rise up to the back toes, sweep the arms overhead, back into crescent pose. Inhale, find strength in the back thigh, extend through the spine. And on the exhale, framing the front foot, we'll step back into plank. Inhale, whole body activation this time. Extending through the spine, push through the heels, pull through the crown of the head. Exhale, hug the body in, draw the elbows close to the body, lower into Chaturanga. Inhale, push through the hands up into upward facing dog. Blades draw down the back, shoulders are away from the ears, gaze is up, jaw lines back. Inhale, push through the hands, fingers spread wide, raise the tail, Adho Mukha Svanasana, or downward facing dog. Exhale, breathe into the pelvic floor, gentle contraction, navel to spine. Inhale, raise the left leg this time, push through the heel, three-legged down dog. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest and with control, lightly step the left foot between the hands. Back into lunge pose. Lowering the right knee to the mat this time, untuck the back toes, draw the tail towards the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, frame the face, hands raise overhead, Rudrasana. There's a slight bend in the back here, knit the lower ribs in. Exhaling, pelvic contraction, navel to spine. Two more breaths here. Inhale, finding length through the spine, draw the blades down the back. Exhale, thighs together. Feel the stretch through the psoas. Inhale, follow the breath from the seat of the spine through to the collarbone. Exhaling here, feel the sensation through the psoas, that front muscle on the th front of the thigh there. The extension through the spine. 
And on the exhale, lower the hands to frame the front foot, tuck, tuck the back toes. And on the exhale, using the core, push off the back foot, stepping forward, finding length through the spine. Flat back, Ada Uttanasana. Exhaling, gently fold forward, Uttanasana. And on the inhale, raise the hands overhead, back into Urdhva Hastasana. Exhaling with intention, bringing the hands to heart center, back to Samastiti. Great job, everybody. Beautiful work. We're going to make our way to the mat now. So coming into Ukutasana chair pose with a challenge. I know, I know, chair pose is already a challenge. This time we're going to raise up onto our toes. So on the inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Hinge at the hips, bend at the knees into a seat. Rise up onto your toes, shoulders away from ears. And on the exhale, we'll slowly lower with control, breathing into the seat, remaining on your toes, draw your ankles together, engage the inner thighs, slowly and gently lower your way to find a seat on the mat. Moving into Jandini Sirsatana, seated one leg forward fold. Extend both legs out in front of you and draw the sole of the right foot to meet the inner left thigh. And on the exhale, engage the left leg and flex the toes. Inhale, we'll extend through the spine, center the torso over the extended leg. And on the exhale, draw the shoulders down the spine, release forward into the fold. Feel the sensation in the left hamstring and the right hip flexor. We'll sit here for a couple of breaths. If you find that the, there is a little bit too much tension in the extended leg there, you can prop that up on a block. Just have a little micro bend in the knee there. And on the inhale, breathe into the pelvic floor. Exhale, slight contraction of the pelvic floor and draw the abdominals towards the thighs. Inhale, extending through the spine. Exhale, releasing, releasing into that forward fold, deepening the pose. Final breath here. And on the inhale, rise up, raise the hands above the head. We'll switch sides now. So extending through the right leg this time, draw the left, the sole of the left foot to meet the inner right thigh. Exhale, extend through the spine, center the torso over the right leg this time. Draw the shoulders down the spine, release forward into the fold, feeling that those sensations in the right hamstring this time and then the left hip flexor. Inhale, looking for the extension. Exhale, deepen into the fold. Inhale, breathing into the pelvic floor. Exhale, slight contraction of the pelvic floor, drawing the abdomen a little closer to the thighs if possible. Inhale, breathe into the pelvic floor. And on the exhale, we'll rise up releasing that posture, coming into Navasana. Um, so draw the knees together, extend through the spine, extend the arms out front, shoulder height, and exhale slowly with control, lower your back to the mat, draw the inner thighs together, engage the abdominals, and we're gonna lower down for a count of three, two, and one. Good job, everybody. We're going to set up the pose now for uh, a dynamic bridge. So Setu Bandha Savangasana. Laying on your back, soles of the feet are flat to the floor. Bring your arms by the sides. Knees are pointing to the sky. Press into all four corners of the feet. And on the inhale, draw the navel to the spine, root through the feet and slowly lift the hips away from the floor. 
and exhale, gently release the shoulders and slowly roll the, roll the spine back down to the mat. Doing this dynamic move two more times. So inhale, link the breast to movement, gently raise the hips to the sky. Exhale, lower the spine to the mat. Inhale, breathe into the movement, gently raise. Exhale, lowering the spine to the mat. Taking the bridge pose a little deeper this time. Inhale, ground through the feet, raise hips to the sky. Exhale, draw the tailbone toward the back of the knees, tuck the shoulders under the chest. Expand through the chest. Option to interlace the fingers here, which will draw drawing the palms together. Breathe into the pelvic floor. Really focus on your breath here. Inhale, breathe deep into the pelvic floor. Extend through the spine. And exhale, deep in the bend. Feel the sensation of the breath through the body. Inhale, breathe into the seat. Exhale, link the body with the breath. Releasing the hands now. Untuck the shoulders. Slowly lower the spine to the mat, observing the sensations of the body. Take a little gentle window wipe here. Just gently sway the knees from side to side. Inhale, we're going to come into supine pigeon pose now. So raise both legs to the sky, bring the right ankle to the left knee. Weave the left hand behind the thigh. So weave that left hand through, interlace the fingers behind the thigh. Exhale, flexing through both of the right foot and the left feet. Push up through the heel of the left. Feel the sensations through the right hip flexors. Inhaling, breathing into the seat of the spine. Feel the breath rise to the chest. Exhale, release the breath, relax into the pose. Inhaling, you can use the right elbow to push through the right knee just to really gain some traction on the stretch. Exhale, allowing the right leg to release into the pose. Deepen the breath and the body connection. One more breath here. And on the exhale, releasing the posture Coming to the other side, bringing the left ankle to the right knee this time, weaving the right hand through, interlacing the fingers behind the thigh. Exhale, flexing through both of the feet, pushing up through the heel of the right foot this time. Feel the sensations through the left hip flexors. Inhale, breathe into the seat of the spine. Feel the breath rise into the chest. Exhale, release the breath, relax into the pose. Inhale, using the leverage of the elbow again to push through the knee to gain some more leverage on the, on the stretch. Exhale, allow the left leg to release into the posture this time. Remembering that breath and body connection. Final breath here, inhale. And exhale. Releasing out of this posture, extend the legs out long again and grounding through the shoulders. Extend the right arm out. Gaze can go to the right as well. And with the left hand, draw the right knee across the body. Left leg is long. Inhale, draw the breath into the pelvic floor. Feel through the side of the body. Exhale, follow the breath into the twist. Inhale, breathing into the seat of the spine, feeling the breath rise into the chest. And on the exhale, release into the twist. Feel the sensations through the right hip flexors and a lovely gentle massage in the lower back there. Last breath here on your own. Inhale. And exhale, gently release the twist. Return the gaze to center. 
Switching to the other side now. So again, making sure we're grounding through the shoulders, extending the left arm out this time. Gaze goes to the left. And with the right hand, draw the left knee across the body. Right leg is long. Inhale, draw the breath into the pelvic floor. Feel through the side of the body. Exhale, follow the breath through the twist. Inhale, breathe into the seat of the spine. Feel the breath rise into the chest. Exhale, releasing into the twist. Feeling the sensations through the lift, left hip flexors this time. And again, that lovely gentle massage on the lower back. On your own, inhaling. And exhale, gently release the twist. Return the gaze to center. Stretch the legs out long. And we're gonna come into the posture that we all work for, Shavasana. Inhale, extend both legs out towards the bottom of the mat. Relax into our final pose. Elongate through the spine. Allow the feet to fall to the outsides of the mat. Arms fall away from the body. Create space for the groin and the pits to breathe. And there's a slight tuck of the shoulder blades. Gently draw the chin away from the chest. Slightly tuck the head to encourage the natural curve of the spine. Relax into the pose. Observe the breath. Observe its natural inflow, its releasing outflow, like a gentle wave lapping against the shoreline. Feel the breath, tranquil and at ease, gently caressing and soothing the body on each inhale. And as you see, sink deeper into your mind's eye on each exhale, peacefully and gently surrender into its organic flow. Become aware of your breath. Simply observe it. Begin to feel the body grounded at the points where the body meets the floor. Now deepen your breath. Begin by moving your fingers and toes and gently and with slow movements. Rock your head and neck. Gently, when you're ready, roll to one side and slowly make your way to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to knees, drawing the index finger and the thumb together, Anjali Madra, Mudra. Take this moment to connect with the universe. We'll inhale deep into the pelvic floor and on the exhale, We'll close our practice with one chant of a beautiful OM. Inhale. 
Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, draw the palms together. Guide your hands to the third eye in honour of Mother Earth and the universe. Bring hands to lily priests in honour of the voiceless, the skies above, the seas below and all that lies in between. And finally draw your hands to heart centre in honour of all that you are. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell so you don't miss any of my weekly practices. And remember, in your space, at your own pace, create a little difference in your world. <laughs>